Okay, so hopefully answers on a postcard for people in the comment section. I don't think we do too bad then against Artorius, everything considered. Roll giving me Passel for some weird reason. And that's probably the first time I've killed him in over a year. So I haven't completely lost everything I used to have, which is good to know. Because I don't know if you, you're like me and you play a lot of games, but your aptitude with games goes down the more you don't play it. But the two reasons I quit, the first one was to reset this room so that she would be here. It was also to stop the power within. <clears throat> the power within can be stopped. So can poison. If you are poisoned and you safe quit, it will stop the poison. Uh, it's what I should have done at the beginning of this series, but I didn't for whatever stupid reason. So I'm going to kill this lady. Um, I don't recommend it. You humans. Because she's kind of cool. Can we do a... Yes, we can. And I shall do the same. And I'm doing it for two reasons. One, because I'm not giving her Artorias a soul, and two, because I want her shit. Here she comes. Poise! Oh, fucking hell! She has not got that much poise, has she? Looks like it's a fight to the death, because she's going to start Lloyd's me if I'm not careful. She is the, the most fun NPC to fight, this one, I think. Just because she fights a lot better than the average NPC. Obviously, it doesn't mean she's all that great. She does a lot of R2s for some reason. Because they work, of course. Can somebody explain to me why that fucking... Why she can take a two-handed Marakuma with that build? Uh, I wonder if it's anything to do with the fact that the AI gets questionable poise. Questionable poise break as well. Or maybe that... It doesn't have that much... It's a two-handed greatsword. You can't take it wearing that armour. <laughs> hey, well. Get us flashbacks and we'll go and, and fight the bitch and hopefully not die again. But if you kill her, you get her weapons and her outfit. If you give her the soul, you get... Weapon or the other. You get one or the other. And the good news is when we enter that room now, she's going to be really mad at us. We did hit her with a Marakumo. Or a Murakumo, sorry. For the people who are sticklers on pronunciations being pronounced like they look. Words like pneumonia. Because they're pronounced just like they look, aren't they, boys? I wonder if you can sneak up and backstab her. I don't think you can. Got me clogs on. Oh, look, she knows I'm there. You see that? Sneaky head turn. That could have worked, actually. No, oh, she delayed it. There's the lines. Look at that, man. Two handed Marikumo, and she fucking just. Nope. Kumo. Kumo, this bitch. A lot of bleed on that weapon. There it is! And it got me. Oh, and a fucking dagger? Enough, bitch. What is she doing? What if I backstab, bitch? Interesting. Yeah, she's too fast for it. So I'm gonna wait. I wonder if she rolls if I don't attack. That's the problem with this. Do the R do the R2. 
course she does. Why would she not? Fuck you! Bullshit game! This is so dumb. Fucking just text it like it's not. No phantom hits on you, do I? That'd have been funny if it had worked. She keeps walking into it. I am a fan. <laughs> but she is the most challenging NPC on this game because she fights really interestingly and she's got very high life. But that's all the stuff that we wanted. So I've now got the sidearm. Tracer, which I'm a big fan of. It's a very fancy. Can you parry with it? No, you cannot. It does uh, exclusive moves. That is a unique move set. That. That is a very cool weapon. Let's put some more points into endurance. And we might be able to put on a shirt. Ooh, that's one. Can definitely wear that. Yeah, boys. Fashion souls. <laughs> a little bit better and it didn't have that crazy curvy thong thing going on like Buddhist it might look half decent you know it doesn't look half decent at all kind of way you know, a lot of the stuff does a lot of the clothing just doesn't go on this game and it's a shame because there's some really nice stuff look how heavy that is finally we can cover this ugly bugger up so privileged so I'm not gonna stick around too much in this area because I've never really liked the uh, a lot of the enemy placements in the DLC is kind of on the nose it's kind of like a precursor to the things to come in Dark Souls 2 but it's still heads and shoulders above Dark Souls 2 so this guy you can oh, this is a little point see ya you can drop down there if you want to do like a crazy shortcut. I'd never choose to do that. I'm just not cool enough. Are you following me? Well, he is. Right, so this can be quite tricky because of the sorceress. Well-timed rolls. Uh, pretty much her enemy. She can melee you though, her. She's a rather deceptively tough creature. One of the trickiest enemies they introduced in the DLC. Does anybody know the difference between the glowing eye guys and the non glowing eye guys? Because I know there's two different, is it masks? They give you the, the tortured prisoner mask, I think it's called something like that, or face. I don't really know. It's been a long time since I really cared, I guess. But the thing I really liked about the DLC is once you learnt the path, you never had to mess with it. That's that's the thing I love about, you know, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. When, once you learn a good path through a level, you just never have to mess. There's never an instance where it's, you know, Vestad's door. Which I'm never gonna f Vestat or whatever he's called. I'll probably never forget him for that. Forget forgive. Forgive and forget. All the Fs. Hello, sir. Oh, very nice. Shit, I press B then. But the game was like, no, take it for a change. Have it on your face. We dropped it. 
a large Titanite Shard, and that is the key for something. Is that the key for Hawkeye? In the uh, Mimic Chest? This Mimic's really strong. He is a pretty creepy looking enemy, that guy. But I do love him all the same. But yeah, once you get a path through these levels, it's beautiful. And a lot of people have their own path, which is even better. Because then you're like, oh, I don't do it this way, I do it that way. So on. Like, I think this section coming up here is straight out of Dark Souls 2. To have those, that massive firing squad of mages and those ambushing melee people, and then that chained prisoner guy who you've had no real chance to fight, and the, by the time you get there, you've gone through... Look at this. It's, it's one of those super questionable parts of, of the DLC. So, dodge the inevitable fight. Oh, that was bad. I did not even realise you could do that. See what I mean, folks? You learn something new every time you play this game. It was a pretty sweet dodge as well. You know, just cruising, cruising. Straight off the bridge. <laughs> Straight into the questionably dirty water. And we activated the elevator, so I'm not too uh, choked up about that particular uh, mistake. Although it was quite funny. Whee! I'm just glad we can finally wear something on our skin. And it's not the, the outfit I would like, but it doesn't look half bad. So, what, how big is the gap I just rolled through? Pretty big, it seems. Yeah, that is a big gap. That it wasn't enough to, to anger him. That was. That was a two piece. Because it caught my roll. Shit. Okay, we'll, we'll do the second strategy for this run then. Seeing as how that one doesn't seem to be favouring me too well. Which involves running down past the ambush into that left corner and then killing them as they line up. Problem with this method is I have pretty low vitality and I'm not wearing armor. So it could end up being um, uh, another death, but we'll see. I'm not too choked up on it. A lot of choking in today's episode for some reason. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, not the best choice I've ever made. He survived that? Touche, sir. Touche. I get the fudge off. So this is a strategy that you might be a little bit more familiar with. This isolates the mages so that they can't hit you. But it puts you in... Wow. That was a, a really bad first phase of this particular strategy. And then you just hit them with one hit. And it nearly didn't work because of how slow the Mar Murakumo is. But... If you have a faster weapon... <laughs> that is a really, really good strategy. Can I... Uh... No, what I nearly did. There we go. And then it's just one and it's pretty simple when it's just one. But my other strategy is safer. I say my, it's probably everyone's strategy. Just to bait the, the, the first few attackers up, dodge the spells, and then, you know, Bob's your uncle. But I ended up rolling off and then I got double tapped. So let's fight this guy. I hate this enemy. I think this is one of the worst enemies in the game because it does not abide by the laws of what it looks like. It does not look like it should be able to cover half the distance it does. Like, look at these attacks. It's so strange. And you're going for a swing to, to capitalize on it, and it does something else, usually. Like, super weird. See what I mean? Every time you go into swing, it does something different. It's one of those really strange creatures. 
And of course, now I've said that, it's, it's not doing it. But trust me, folks, this is not a fun enemy, this one. And it drops a piece of armor that you can buy at the big. Wow! At the beginning of the game. <laughs> Excuse me. Should be a big enough spike to be able to pick that one out, hopefully. Whoa, I've not seen that before. Can you circle strafe this dude? Just straight up? Not really. Here's the follow up. Like, follow ups out of nowhere, weird attacks. Everything that I don't like about Souls games, this creature embodies. Did not want to do that, but there we go. I didn't two hand or do an R2 there, so I got that weird animation, and it's gonna get me fucking killed. Because this guy's pretty strong. See what I mean? Just it's fucking. It's weird. It's just stupid and weird. I've never liked this creature. And the good news is you can run straight past it, you don't ever have to mess with it. And there's literally no reason to, I don't think. Because it's just pointless. Like, how does it swing that little cage like an arm? Weird. But yeah. That's probably my least favourite enemy in this game, that. Not for difficulty or for anything like that. Just because it's a piece of shit. Overly inflatable life. Overly inflated damage. Like, there's no point in it at all. Nothing interesting in that fight. And it's guarding one of the most uh, interesting bosses in the game, I think. Because I think Manus is, is a masterpiece. Because it's one of those fights where at any moment you can lose. But at the same time, if you know what you're doing, you can really show him up. And Epic Namero did a, a Manus challenge where you had to beat him with the Calamity Ring on. And uh, I made a submission for that particular challenge. Ah, I forgot this area respawns. But not to worry. I'm not having a lot of luck here with the side guys. I don't know why. I mean, she's seen me every time. That lady's been a, a big old bitch. Here we go. Need to be careful of that. Oh, shit, there was two. Really? Yep, I knew we were going to trade. I didn't even get the attack off. Oh, this weapon. So I'm going to pop on the wolf ring, just in case I get hit again by that spell. Which I could toggle. But I suck, so I'm not toggling. Because I just... It's not a reflex anymore. I, I had it down to where I could reliably do it. And now that that's been dealt with, I can take it off and go for the speed again. But I just noticed that getting hit did... Is that a female? Why is she there? Very strange. I do swear, guys, the strategies that I've mentioned in spite of, you know, getting bummed a few times, they do work. You just have to be careful. Like, if you get that in your face, you're dead. Because it's a, it's a massive money shot and it kills. Because it sucks. Come on, then. Uncle Festa, come out here. Show us your fantastic, eclectic... Amazing move set. 
Did that just happen, dickhead? If that were Dark Souls 2, that would have been a much different story. I think we can also agree that that was not perhaps the most productive run past the enemy I've ever done. Once again, less to do with me and more to do with it, because it's really fast. Why would a giant fucking ball of dog shit be so fast? Answers on a postcard. <laughs> it's just the worst enemy in the game. Ears. What my daughter made out of her own feces when she studied art was after the nervous breakdown, but nobody told her it was feces. To her it was clay. 